So we decided to study spina bifida in India and create an intervention to help decrease the rates of spina bifida. My name is Abigail. I'm Hannah. I'm Kyra. And I'm Casey. Next slide. Perfect. So we're just going to go to a quick YouTube video that kind of talks a little bit about what spina bifida is. And the sound isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you couldn't read the bottom of that, um, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about it um, and what spina bifida is and why we chose um, India as where we wanted to do our prevention project. Um, so, spina bifida is a non-curable um, birth defect um, in which the spinal cord um, develops either incorrectly or it doesn't fully close, kind of like it showed in the picture, how it was like wrapped around some things. Um, it occurs when, um, oh sorry, um, so the symptoms of spina bifida, um, they can either be severe or super mild. So they can show on the back, like the one in the video showed um, kind of like a cyst on the back, um, but they can be simple, even um, a birthmark or something that you can barely notice or see. Um, and um, there are no surgical or there are no, there's no cure for spina bifida. Um, it's only treatments. And so they can do surgery um, to help correct it, but it's only helping. And so it's mostly managing complications is the treatment um, for spina bifida. Um, like I said earlier, it differs from person to person. So someone can have it super severe um, where it is crippling or someone can barely notice it, um, but it can shorten lifespans for sure. Um, so this disease is rare in developing countries, um, but in some places of the world, it's still like a huge reality. And that's why we chose India because it is a huge reality for the people there. Um, and it, it says on our PowerPoint, um, in India, um, four to eight births out of every thousand live birth, births are born with spina bifida. And so that doesn't sound like too much, but when compared to places like the U.S., um, it is huge because in the U.S. there are four births with spina bifida for every 10,000 as compared to the 1,000 in India. Um, and that is staggering, um, those numbers. But it can easily be prevented, which is an amazing thing, and it's all in consuming folic acid. So if the mother is consuming folic acid while they're pregnant, um, then it reduces the chances of spina bifida astronomically. Next slide. So like, like Kyra just mentioned, one way to, to prevent this is if mothers um, take folic acid. So what we thought for our um, in intervention was that we would put folic acid in people's water sources. And the way that we got this idea is places like America put fluoride in their water to, to prevent tooth Okay, so we thought that put by putting folic acid in people's water, 
it would allow them to get uh, an, an adequate amount of folic acid so that it can help prevent this from happening to mothers and their babies. So the hope is that this intervention will provide pregnant and hopeful mothers with access to adequate amounts of folic acid. We hope that this intervention will not only improve the health of many Indians, but also improve the financial well-being of families in India. It could be difficult for families to afford a supplement like we take in the U.S., and it can also be very difficult to afford the health care costs of those who do have spina bifida. So this intervention provides a low-cost and far-reaching um, solution. Next slide. Perfect. And then the area in specific that we're choosing to target is the Great Nuada. Um, it's a town just located uh, in Uttar Pradesh, which is a district um, 30 miles outside of New Delhi, which is India's capital. And uh, looking into this, there's a Ganga water project that uh, was going on or is going on currently. And it's, it was projected that by March of this year, 100,000 people of the Great Nuada area would have their water source from the Ganga River. Um, they say so because by this time the underground water reservoir, the treatment plant were supposed to be done. Um, but this was only projected to impact urban and industrial areas and reach only 100,000 people of the area. Uh, but um, the rest of the people or the majority of the population that they're trying to reach won't be reached until 2021. And so there's a lot of people and mothers and pregnant women that aren't getting the kind of water and the clean water that they need to, to get as their source is coming from groundwater. And so what we're hoping to do is um, conduct servathons and team up with the Spina Bifida Association, who's already raising money for Spina Bifida, to conduct fun runs and 5Ks to raise money and to purchase these filters, which some of you may be familiar with. They're backpacking filters that a lot of people take on long hiking trips or backpacking trips. And we plan to purchase these filters from Sawyer Filters, which you can buy those at Walmart or lots of other stores around. But we hope to provide these filters for the pregnant and hopeful mothers of the Great Nwada area, uh, especially those in more rural, rural, rural areas as uh, they're the ones that aren't projected to get uh, water from the water project. And uh, so by teaming up with the Sawyer Company, we'll hope to add an additional add-on piece to their already made filters that will re release the needed folic acid uh, in a dissolvable form into the water that they're consuming. And uh, we also decided to go with these filters because they have a lifespan of 100,000 gallons of water. So although the water they may be bathing in or showering in won't be as clean, uh, the water that they will be drinking will be clean and will be providing uh, the folic acid and relief for many people. Next slide. And that is our story. 